Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in a place where your life is constantly under threat? This is the reality for the people of Gaza. Imagine living in a place where the skies frequently roar with the sound of air raids and artillery strikes. This is an everyday occurrence for the residents of the southern Gaza Strip city of Rafah. Here, the risk of violence is not a distant possibility but a terrifying certainty. The Israeli regime's relentless attacks have resulted in a devastating loss of life and injury for hundreds of civilians, the majority of whom are women and children. Homes, the very places where people should feel safest, have become targets. Mosques, the sanctuaries of faith and community, are not exempt. These brutal attacks have claimed the lives of nearly 100 civilians and left at least 230 others wounded. The strikes came after Palestinian media reported that at least 11 Israeli soldiers had been killed in an ambush by Palestinian resistance fighters near the city of Khan Yunus. This tragic incident was the spark that ignited an already volatile situation leading to the brutal strikes on Rafah. The southern Gaza Strip city became a battleground, its homes and mosques the unfortunate collateral in a war that shows no mercy. As the strikes rained down, Rafa's population swelled beyond its capacity. People from all over the coastal territory sought refuge in the city, fleeing from Israel's relentless onslaught. Families uprooted, lives disrupted, the city's population grew to unprecedented levels. The aftermath was devastating. Homes were reduced to rubble, families torn apart and a city left to pick up the pieces. The strikes did not discriminate, claiming the lives of civilians, mostly women and children. The city's hospitals, already stretched thin, struggled to cope with the influx of casualties. The city of Rafa, once a bustling hub, transformed into a sanctuary for the displaced. Its population swelling to over one million people. That's more than five times its usual population. Over one million people, more than five times Rafa's usual population, have fled to the city amid Israel's brutal onslaught on the coastal territory. The aggression against Gaza has claimed the lives of over 28,000 Palestinians, mostly women and children, leaving more than 67,700 others wounded. This is not just a statistic, it's a humanitarian crisis of staggering proportions, with a high casualty rate that continues to grow each day. Medical facilities, already stretched thin, are now overwhelmed. They face a daunting task of treating thousands of wounded, with a lack of essential supplies like water, fuel and food. Children, who make up almost half of Gaza's population, are particularly at risk and the challenge doesn't stop there. The delivery of aid is proving to be a Herculean task. The security situation in Gaza is extremely dangerous, making the delivery of aid a perilous mission. Many areas have been rendered inaccessible due to bombing, hindering the work of aid workers. In the face of such adversity, the resilience and determination of those delivering aid is nothing short of inspiring. But they need support. They need humanitarian corridors and a pause in the attacks to provide life-saving assistance. Gaza's hospitals cannot handle the large number of casualties, and aid delivery is proving difficult due to the dangerous security situation. The world cannot afford to turn a blind eye. This is a crisis that demands immediate global attention and action. The world cannot remain silent in the face of such atrocities. As the situation in Gaza worsens, the international community must step up its efforts to bring about a peaceful resolution. Countless lives are at stake, and every day of delay only adds to the mounting toll of human suffering. The United Nations has issued a stark warning about the devastating humanitarian consequences of evacuating northern Gaza. With over one million people on the brink of displacement, the potential for a catastrophic humanitarian crisis is all too real. Despite the grim situation, the response from the international community has been woefully inadequate. While some countries have called for an end to the violence and offered humanitarian aid, much more needs to be done. The blockade restrictions need to be lifted to allow essential supplies like water, fuel and food to reach those in need. We must also remember that aid is not a solution to the root of the problem. The voices of the oppressed must be heard and their rights must be recognized and respected. The cycle of violence and retaliation can only be broken through meaningful dialogue and negotiation. Stand up for humanity, raise your voice against the brutality in Gaza, help in any way you can, every effort counts.